A woman shouts in frustration, suggesting security forces may have abused their power. This is Tivoli Gardens. Kingston is the capital of Jamaica, and it's on the southern coast, and uh, Tivoli Gardens is a neighborhood all the way down by the water. You know, thousands of people live there, but it was, it was described as Christopher Koch's stronghold. Christopher Koch was sentenced to more than 20 years after he pled guilty to drug trafficking and racketeering. The U.S. had a long-running investigation into Koch, and they, then they asked for him to be extradited from the Jamaican government, and uh, the extradition did not go smoothly. I heard all these terrible stories of young men just being summarily killed on uh, May 24, 2010, during this very violent incident in, in Tivoli Gardens. And uh, the evidence I found showed that this was actually a, a massacre. I wrote a story called A Massacre in Jamaica, which appeared in The New Yorker in December 2011. But when I did this story, one thing that I learned is that there was a, a plane from the Department of Homeland Security you know, flying over Tivoli Gardens during the operation, and that Jamaica had asked for that plane, and then we, the U.S., provided it, and that it shot video, but I couldn't get it because it was, it was denied in a series of Freedom of Information Act requests. And uh, we just were able to get it uh, a few weeks ago by filing a federal lawsuit. <laughs> So what, what we're watching here is from a, a P-3 Orion, which is a surveillance plane. Uh, and this plane was deployed by the Department of Homeland Security on uh, May 24, 2010. There, there's a point where it, it looks like one of the soldiers is maybe picking up shell casings up off the ground, which is something that residents told me that they saw. There's a point where there's definitely an explosion and then you see a, a large number of uh, JDF soldiers entering uh, the neighborhood from the western side. In the immediate aftermath of this incident, the Jamaican Defense Force said that they were provoked into doing this, that there was fierce fighting between Koch's gunmen and the security forces. And they gave the impression that there was a kind of pitched battle taking place uh, between two sides of, of organized combatants. Now, if that happened, it's, it's not on the video, and I'm still waiting to see evidence that it did happen. The video ends around 4 p.m. The most serious allegations in my story would have taken place after that, and, and this video highlights just how many questions remain to be, to be answered. But I just keep coming back to, you have 73 civilians dead, including one U.S. citizen, and on the security forces side, there's only one casualty. And then if there was a pitched battle, where are the guns? They only recovered six guns uh, for, from Tivoli Gardens in the, in the immediate aftermath. To me, it, it, it doesn't add up. And, and then you have all these stories, uh, corroborated, consistent stories from across the neighborhood of security forces just summarily killing unarmed men of, of a certain age um, based on no evidence at all. What we see on the videos and what happened in Tivoli Gardens, it's one of the foremost law enforcement problems of the 21st century, which is how do you get a few dozen bad guys out of a residential area that may have you know, hundreds or thousands of people whose relationship to the so-called bad guys is, is uncertain and who may be completely innocent. I think we're sort of entering an era where, where guilt is, is determined more and more not by who you are, but just by where you are, and where people who are just at, at, at the wrong place and at the wrong time and near someone who may be accused of something are sufficient to make a person killable. So I think the only way you're really gonna get to the bottom of this is have some kind of commission of inquiry within the Jamaican government that would call people to testify and, and really do a full and complete investigation and put all these questions to rest for good.